Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace part of a text string with different text using three different methods. Let's get started. Sometimes simple is best. No functions, no formulas, just good old find and replace. This is a list of files that are going to be hosted on the excellent ice cream website. After manually typing them into the spreadsheet, I've been told that the file names can't have any spaces in them. The server won't allow it. I've changed the names of the actual files by replacing the spaces with underscores, but I haven't yet updated the spreadsheet. Yes, I know it's possible to automate importing of file names, but this is a demo of Find and Replace. So let's do that now. Select the cells with the file names in. And on the Home tab, click on Find and Select Replace. I want to find a space and I want to replace with an underscore and click Replace All. Click OK and Close. OK, example number two. Similar scenario, same file names, but this time the files have been uploaded to an internal website where spaces in file names are allowed. I've used a formula in column B to generate the URL. It's combining the base URL and the documents folder name with a file name. But take a look at the URL. URLs can't contain spaces. Any spaces in file names or folder names get replaced with a percent %20. Now I could use find and replace to replace the spaces with a percent %20 in column B. But if I added more files into column A, I'd have to do the find and replace again. So another option is to use the substitute function. This lets you substitute one string within a cell with a different string, a string being one or more characters. So to do this, I'll edit the formula. I'm going to remove the A7 from the end and I'm going to put substitute and the substitute function takes three parameters. The first parameter is the text that I want it to look at, which in this case is the text in A7. The second parameter is the old text, and that is going to be a space. And that has to go in double quotes. And the third parameter is the new text, and that also has to go in double quotes, which is percent twenty. It's not actually changed A7, it's just changed it in B7. And I will copy that down. OK, different example this time. Due to changes in the UK telephony system, all phone numbers starting with 061, which is the area code for Manchester, have changed to 0161. And our supplier list needs updating to reflect those changes. You'll notice that 061 is not limited to being at the beginning of the cell. There are a couple of cells there where 061 appears within the cell. Now, find and replace won't work because it'll change every instance of 061 to 0161. The substitute function would do the same, except it has an optional fourth parameter that lets you define the instance. So you could replace the first instance or the second instance of the specified text. In this case, I want to substitute 061 with 0161 if it appears at the start of the cell. So I'll go to E6 and put equal substitute. I want it to look at D6. I want it to look for 061 and replace that with 0161 but I only want it to do it for the first instance within each cell. So I put a number one as the fourth parameter. That fourth parameter is optional, which is why the one in the previous example didn't have one. And then copy the formula down. And you can see it's changed the 061s to 0161, but only for the first instance in the cell. Now, I don't really want to have the old phone numbers and the new phone numbers, so I will cut the numbers that are in column E and paste them over the top of the old numbers in column D. So I'll have to do it as a copy 
first, click into D6, and then click the arrow under paste and use paste values. And paste values will paste the results of the formula, not the actual formulas themselves. And then I can go and delete the formulas from column E. The replace function is similar to substitute, but it uses the position of a character or string of characters within a cell. So if you know the position of the characters to be replaced, use the replace function. The replace function also allows you to specify how many characters to replace. So here's another way to replace just the first instance of 061 in each cell with 0161. Equals replace open brackets. We want it to look in D6 and we want it to look starting at the first character. And we want it to replace three characters. And the text to replace with is 0161. So it's going to look at D6, start with the first character. It's going to replace three characters with basically four characters. Copy that down. And then if I copy, go to D6 and paste values, that will replace what was in column D with the result of the formulas in column E, which I can now remove. In this example, excellent ice creams are rolling out a new HR system, which has resulted in everyone getting a new payroll ID. I need to replace ICE with Excel. So very similar to the previous example, I'll use the replace function because I'm working based on the position of the text to be replaced. I want it to look at D6 and I want it to start at character position 6 because that is where the eye of ICE is. I want it to replace three characters, so characters six, seven, and eight. So that's three. And the new text is Excel. And then copy that down and copy and paste values. In some instances, the substitute and replace functions are interchangeable. But with this final example I'm about to do, there's no way to use the substitute function because this example relies solely on position. I need to split the mobile phone number by inserting space dash space between the fifth and sixth characters. Now, if I type equals replace D6, 6, 3 to say three characters and then space dash space, I get this. It's replacing characters six, seven, and eight. So that's starting at six and three characters with space dash space. What I actually want is to insert space dash space before the six character and keep everything. So to do that, I don't define the number of characters parameter. I will remove that from the formula. And now I get space dash space inserted at character position six and everything else is retained. So I'll just copy that down and then copy paste values to paste what's in column E over the top of what's in D and delete what's in E. So that brings us to the end of this video on how to replace part of a text string. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.